Hey everyone, I'm WFA meteorologist Kyle Roberts. I want to bring you an update on both those tropical storms we have going on right now. This would be Laura and it would be Marco. Now we're recording this on Sunday morning, August 23rd. So if you're watching a little bit after that, be aware that there will be some changes to this. And I encourage you to find out the latest information, but let's talk about what's going on at the moment. There's Marco, there's Laura. Marco has now entered the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Storm Laura is right over Hispaniola, which is Haiti and the Dominican Republic, bringing wind and a lot of rain to that island area. Now, Marco, a little bit farther along, it's in the Gulf, so it's gonna be the first one that impacts the United States here in the next 24 to 48 hours. So let's go ahead and talk about it. There's Tropical Storm Marco, it has wind speeds of 70 miles an hour, so it is a strong tropical storm. A reminder, you have to have winds of 74 miles an hour or higher to be considered a hurricane. So it's not very, very far away from hurricane status. It is expected to strengthen a little bit more as we head through today and even into Monday. So I think there's a decent chance of it becoming at least a low end hurricane as it makes its way toward the uh, Gulf states there. You can also see as gusts of around 85 miles an hour. So let's talk about the track here. There's Marco as it is right now. It's gonna move almost due north, basically straight toward Louisiana, likely making landfall somewhere in Louisiana as a category one hurricane. This would likely happen during the early morning hour, or excuse me, during the afternoon hours uh, tomorrow, which would be on Monday. There you go, 75 miles an hour. So that's a low end hurricane. It's a hurricane nonetheless, but it is still a hurricane, category one hurricane there, making landfall along the Louisiana coast. That has prompted the Weather Service to issue hurricane warnings and hurricane watches for most of the Louisiana coastline. What that means is these are the areas that will see the biggest threats from the storm, some damaging wind gusts, heavy rain and flooding, and then definitely storm surge possible, perhaps four to six feet of it in the areas in and around southern Louisiana, anywhere kind of where the Mississippi River dumps out into the Gulf of Mexico, about four to six feet of storm surge possible there. As you head a little farther to the east along the Louisiana coastline, two to four feet of storm surge, and that would extend over into uh, parts of coastal Mississippi, you know, Biloxi, Mississippi, even over into Gulf Shores, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, Mobile Bay, could see about two to four uh, feet of storm surge. It does look like Lake Pontchartrain and kind of the north side of New Orleans there, a little bit lower storm surge, maybe about two to four feet, but still some storm surge nonetheless. And then to the west of uh, that four to six foot range, that would be the entire rest of Louisiana coast as you head even over to the kind of the Texas, Louisiana border, that could see about two to four feet of a storm surge from Marco. Then Marco kind of takes a left-hand turn. It weakens pretty quickly after making landfall, moves into Southeast Texas there as a tropical depression. I live in North Texas, the DFW area. This storm we'll be watching closely could bring us some rain by the middle part of the upcoming week. There you go, there's Wednesday at one in the morning and as that storm moves into Texas, we'll be watching it to see uh, how much rain it brings. Basically the farther south and east you go in Texas, the better your chances are to see a little bit of rain from this storm. Houston, College Station, Beaumont, Jasper, those areas, a little bit better chance of rain than maybe DFW, Texarkana, uh, you know, Wichita Falls, closer to the storm. Kind of goes without saying that you'd have a better chance at seeing some rain. So that's Marco. Then of course we need to talk about Laura, 45 miles an hour right at the moment. It is a tropical storm. And as I mentioned, it's over kind of the Dominican Republic and Haiti there. Let's talk the track for this storm. It's gonna enter the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the Tuesday time frame, then set its sights on almost the exact same place that Marco made landfall. Landfall right now somewhere in Louisiana as a category two hurricane, so potentially a little bit stronger than Marco, winds of 100 miles an hour. The track for this has actually shifted a little farther to the west. You see the cone of uncertainty there is what we call it. The center of that storm could track anywhere within that cone. That means anywhere from New Orleans all the way over to Galveston, Houston area. So this storm still has a high degree of uncertainty with exactly where it's going to track. But as of now, it looks like there's a good chance it could impact some of the identical areas that'll have been dealing with Marco 48 hours before this one, make land, this one makes landfall. So that's early Tuesday morning. It'll quickly move off to the north there, and by Friday morning, uh, it's just a tropical depression well up into Arkansas. Let's overlay both of the tracks here to kind of show you what's gonna happen. We've been talking about how there's never been two hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time. I don't think that is going to occur because you can see Marco is making landfall 
and Laura hasn't even entered the Gulf of Mexico yet. So I think there's a very low chance of us actually having that record. We've never seen it before because just the timing of these storms, they aren't quite close enough together, which also means they're not really going to influence each other. They're not going to spin around each other or combine and become some mega hurricane or something like that. No, they're going to trail behind each other just far enough that they're not going to influence each other, but they could impact some of the identical areas uh, that – you know, Laura could follow right behind Marco and impact some of the same locations. So there are the two tracks. It's kind of confusing, overlaid on top of each other. But yeah, Marco and Laura could end up tracking in some of the ex exact same locations. So that's why the threat here, significant from one storm, but some areas could be dealing with two storms. You know, Marco comes along, dumps a lot of heavy rain, storm surge, wind, all that sort of thing. And then Hardly even enough time to recover before Marco could, or excuse me, Laura could come along. It gets kind of confusing, uh, could come along and impact some of the same areas in the recovery efforts. So uh, definitely a dangerous situation here, something that needs to be watched very, very closely. If you live in the areas that could be impacted by these storms, now is the time absolutely to start making preparations because you have uh, Marco on the way here shortly. We'll continue to keep an eye on it for you here as a, uh, the tropics are now heating up and we are in an active hurricane season and it looks like it's going to stay active right on through the end of the season here. So we'll keep you informed. Thank you for watching everybody and have a good rest of your Sunday.